because you know, look, we you know we're doing research on Unix, so we're going to go into all these different times in history. But I found this story from the first century around about a very famous eunuch named Sporus, S P O R U S. Now, <laughs> this, uh, this it's safe to say this kid had a little bit of a rough life that didn't stop. He had a rough life. <laughs> this this story that I'm about to tell you is about Sporus's rough life, but also about the fucking complete insanity of Nero. <laughs> so make no mistake, what I'm about to tell you guys is fucking wild and is 100% true, unfortunately. Okay, so, like I said, castration was a big no-no under, under Roman law in the first century. You just couldn't do it. It was outlawed. But then Nero comes along, and understand one thing about Nero, he did not give a fuck no. about laws. No. He lived life in his own fucking lane. You think Donald Trump doesn't give a fuck about what he says about him? Yeah. Times, times that by a million. Yeah. Nero. Okay, so Nero saw himself above the law, and he just decided to castrate Sporus. Yeah. Sporus, now don't, make no mistake, Sporus was just some Roman kid, walk, like Roman teenager, walking around the streets of Rome, and was just pulled off the street and castrated immediately. He was probably a really cute kid. Yeah, well, here's what happened. So, no, people really don't know about Sporus's background, except that he was a young man who, you know, Nero just liked and probably thought he was cute. So, Nero decides to castrate Sporus and then make, listen to what I'm about to tell you. Nero decides to castrate Sporus, who's a guy, of course, and then make Sporus his wife. <laughs> So Nero just said, I'm all of a sudden going to castrate a man. I'm not openly gay, but I'm going to make Sporus my fucking wife. And I'm the emperor of Rome and you could do nothing. And then yeah. their marriage included a ceremony where he gave he made Sporus wear a bride's veil. He gave her um, a dowry. And afterwards, he threw, her, he threw them a wonderful honeymoon in Greece. Okay? <laughs> if you think gender fluidity was a big thing now, it was huge with Nero's... Yeah, time. Yeah, and they're saying that Nero probably married Sporus because Nero himself was feeling guilty because about a month before that, make no mistake, Nero did in fact kick his pregnant white Sabina to death. <laughs> he kicked her to death. And he said that um, Sporus bore an uncanny resemblance to Sabina and he had to have her. In and he even used to call Sporus by his dead name, by his dead wife's name, Sabina, unfortunately. So you know what that means? That means that is probably why Sporus was chosen and that's probably why he was castrated. He is the fucking unluckiest kid that lived during Nero's era. Time. He was probably just walking down the street and crazy fucking Nero was in yeah. his chariot and he happened to look out his window and he said, is that fucking Sabina? And they said, no, your emperor. Sabina, no, you kicked her to death. You kicked her to death in the stomach and killed her and your unborn child. Yeah. And he said, oh, I'm sorry. I must have forgot about that. I'm fucking wild and crazy. My name's Nero. No, that's Sabina. Bring him to me. And then they brought that thing into his chariot and they said, let me see his puss. And they said, <laughs> oh, he's got your emperor. That is not Sabina. It has a dick. And he said, give me this scissors. Not any more that's sabina <laughs> this is the most unfortunate kid to ever walk the yeah. face of the earth yeah and feed me his balls like fucking great yeah you telling me he's not sabina give me scissors now he is yeah and here's how fucking wild nero was this podcast is not about nero we'll get back to eunuch shortly but i just need to tell you a sidebar about how fucking wild nero was <laughs> so i told you that he just randomly pilled Pick Sparks off the street, cut his nuts off, and said, now you're my wife. But make no mistake, <laughs> Nero also did marry two other men in his life, and they were not castrated in those marriages because Nero wanted to be the wife. <laughs> so make no mistake, <laughs> Nero was married three times, twice as, twice as a wife and once as a husband. So Nero <laughs> is fucking wild. Nero takes your fucking gender fluidity yeah. and fucking pees on it because yeah. he was the most gender fluid motherfucker of all time. Yeah, and also the story does go that unfortunately one day in 68 AD somebody told Nero that they had ran out of grapes and cheese and Nero did in fact kill himself immediately <laughs> and he jumped out a window and killed himself as a sitting emperor of Rome because they ran out of grapes and cheese momentarily. Yeah, yeah. listen. <laughs> you could go to Nero and say to him, Nero, Nero, there are 137 genders, and he would go, are you fucking crazy? But not because he thought there was only two genders. He would go, there's fucking 4,066 genders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring me all the grapes and cheese yeah. and fucking eunuchs you can. I'm going to fuck a horse and jump out a window. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, my God.